Hey guys, it's Kelly here. I wanted to come and talk to you today about uh, my own personal business with Plexus and what has happened over the past three years. Um, some numbers and some things that I've learned from working with my Plexus coach. And the two biggest things are about growing your team and then retaining the people that you have, customers and ambassadors. So let's talk about some stats from 2016. In 2016, my team, we'll call that Team Lexus or Bust, we added around 600 ambassadors that year. We saw great growth, and the percentage of people who joined that year who went silver was 8.5%. Now, the average across Plexus is right around 5%. So if you have about 5% of the people who join you that are going silver, then that means that your team is growing and people are going diamond with that. Um, so that was our stats from 2016. In 2017, we had about 300 people join the team. So about half. And I'm just using some round numbers here for you guys. But our percentage of those that went silver was about 5%. So we've had, we have less people that are joining. Um, slightly less percentage of people going silver, but still a really strong number. Now let's look at 2018. Uh, now I realize that we only have um, 10 months that are gonna be part of this example, actually only nine. So through September of this year, my team has uh, had about 150 people join. Now, when you look at that number, you're like, wow, okay, that's in half again. What are your percentages of people going silver? Silver, well right now, guys, it's 1%. 1% of the people who have joined my team in 2018 have gone silver. So what does that mean? Well, to me, that means that the majority, if not all, of the people who have joined in 2018 on Team Lexus or Bust have been what we refer to as wholesale ambassadors, or ambassadors who join who have no desire to, to build the business, and they want to only get the best price. There's nothing wrong with wholesale ambassadors. I realize that uh, the majority of the people, if you look at the stats across all of Plexus who join, are going to be in that category. But in order for our team to grow, we've got to maintain that 5% or greater rate of people going silver. Now, let's talk a little bit about retention. So you say, okay, well, I can see you were growing, you were growing, now you're probably sort of stagnant. Well, that would be the case if our retention numbers weren't rising. So our our, our recruiting is going down, the, ret the number of silver percentage-wise is going down, and the number of um, people who are falling off is going up. So um, one of the things that my coach talked to me about is over the last 90 days, it has looked like about 65 percent of people who joined the team that were commission qualified in either August or September were not commission qualified in October. If you look at the people who just joined in the month of September, almost 80 percent of those people did not purchase and were, did not get quali commission qualified in October. Now, some of that is going to have to do with the fact that some people who are joining are getting the Joy Own Welcome Pack, and so it's understandable that those people are only going to be commission qualified every other month. I get it, but that is not the majority of people that are joining. So, how can we help people to get commission qualified every month, and how can we keep our customers? So, one of the things that my coach and I talked about is for the first 90 days, that you are scheduling a time on your calendar and on your new ambassador's calendar to help them place an order. So let's use an example here. You've got a new ambassador that just joined on today's November the 6th, I believe, or the 7th. They just joined on November the 7th. We're going to schedule a time on December the maybe 1st or maybe even November 31st, or there's no November 31st, but at the very end of November to have a call with them. You're gonna be reviewing with them what products they have. Are there any products that they have a surplus of? You know, maybe they started the triplex and they don't need to order the BioCleanse yet, or maybe they weren't consistent with their ProBio5. And so we're helping them and we're making suggestions of other types of products. We're letting them know about seven day trials that are coming up. We're introducing them to new products that they might want to try, maybe X Factor Kids for their 
children. Maybe their husband wants to try a bag of Slim. Maybe their mom loved the Joyum, and so you're helping them purchase some of the samples of Joyum. So we want to be able to anticipate that there may be some products that they're not going to want to reorder right away because they have extra, and how we can fill in the gap so that they are setting up their subscription order. We're letting them know that if that subscription is 145 or more PV, that um, they're going to get free shipping and we're going in. Maybe we're going in through a Zoom account and we're sharing their screen. So we're like, click here, then do this. And we're doing that with them guys every month for the first three months. Because here's the kicker. If people order consistently and people who stay commission qualified for the first 90 days after they join, then 80% of those people are continuing to order and they're still ordering up to a year later, guys. Those are the stats that we saw when we looked at 2016, 17, and 18. So that should be very encouraging to you, but we've got to be able to put in the time and the effort and we, we got these ambassadors. How do we keep them? We have these customers. How do we keep them engaged? One great way to engage a new customer is to talk about, is to help them share it with their friends. Same thing with ambassadors when they join. If they're going to be a wholesale ambassador, okay, that's fine. But how can we help them either get their products paid for or help them to understand that if they're ordering products, that they're making a commission and just, again, helping them place that order every single month. Now, one thing, if you were sitting and watching this and saying, oh gosh, okay, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. But you are somebody who you've got a team, but you're no longer sponsoring your own ambassadors. We're still in a monkey see, monkey do. And sometimes I like that term and sometimes I hate it, but we're in a profession where people are going to copy what you do, what you do, and they're probably going to do about half of it. So that's one last thing that my coach and I looked at, and that was how many people did I personally sponsor over the last three years? And it's actually been pretty steady. It's been an average of about 30 ambassadors a year, which when you think about the going silver and how we want to add three ambassadors a month, which would be 36 ambassadors a year. For me, over the last three years, to have very, very close to that number every single year shows that my efforts have been very, very consistent. And if you look at people on my team who are the high recruiters, if you look at their numbers over the last three years, you're going to see similar trends. So if you're wanting to, everybody's like, oh, I want to pull in a runner. Well, let's look and see what your um, track record has been. And are you attracting people that are going to be consistently getting commission qualified, consistently going silver every month, consistently building their team, consistently getting on training calls? Guys, it's all, we, we know it's about consistency, but we have to lead from the front as leaders. We have to help people join the right way and we need to help them get commission qualified every single month by, again, setting up meetings. I don't want to beat a dead horse. It's all about what we do as leaders. So if you have questions, reach out to me, reach out to your next upline who is growing, and we're happy to help always. All right, so hopefully these tips will help you as we finish out 2018 and go into the new year to not only get people signed up, but to help them stay with us long term. All right, bye guys.